online dating relevant? The next question, Nicole, what to do when ghosted? Oh my god, oh, so I got ghosted a bunch of times when I was in college. Get out, I don't believe you because this person said that you're so beautiful. Like, oh, thank would... you so much, but <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get ghosted, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Like, there's a possibility that the person you matched with doesn't like your personality or you just don't That's think, absolutely true. You know, because yeah. I, uh, honestly, I'm going to be, like, really honest because I've ghosted people as well. Um, have you been ghosted more than you have ghosted? Uh, <laughs> I have ghosted more than I've been ghosted. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes, like, I don't know, like, the guys just don't match my energy. Or, in one book, because I by the girls usually message first. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes it gets boring, and then they message a lot, and then, like, what am I supposed to talk about? So I just end up not replying. And then there was this one time, there was this guy who met up with me. He went to the bar, I w the club I was in, because I was working that time, because I had At to the bar? shoot. Uh, oh, I, you were I working at shooting. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. was shooting because I was I uh, I have to be there. Mm -hmm. was this guy was like, "Oh, where are you at?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm here at blah blah blah. If you wanna drop by, you can, you're free to do that." And I'm with friends, and I don't want to meet random strangers. I mean, privately, as it's much as so possible. Like, yeah. But you told them where you were. Yeah, but it's okay because I'm in a public place, it's a club, you know, I just yeah, want to see safer. him. Yeah, it's yeah. a little safer because I'm with friends as well yeah. so that they can judge. So <laughs> it was in the Philippines, It was the, this was very recent. So I, um, he went there and then by the time he got there, he stayed for like 10 minutes because we had to leave and then we had to like go to another club. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to this and that and that. I guess I'll just see you around. And then he's like, oh, we're, we're going to go to Dr. Wine. I'm like... Okay, uh, in BGC, mm -hmm. and then I've I was like, okay, and then he invited me to go there. I'm like, okay, I'll, um, I'll try, we'll see, because I'm with friends, so I'm not really sure. So when I went to the other club, he went there as well, because he knew, because I, I kind of told him. Was he alone we the going. whole time? No, he was with a friend. Okay. So I, the first time I saw him, I didn't really like, I had icks, you know, mm -hmm. like some minor icks. Like I didn't really, he looked very young for me. Like, he didn't look like my age. So I was like, okay, maybe he's lying about his age, stuff like that. And then after that, he, we didn't, like, really talk, talk. After that night, he kept messaging me and messaging me. And I was like, uh, parang ayoko. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm very busy and stuff like that. So parang I don't have time to keep messaging and messaging. And he kept flooding me. So I kind of ghosted him. And he's like, hey, baby girl, why'd you ghost me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, my God, the hey, baby girl intro was like, no, this is not it. Cause really? that's like, I thought people love being called baby girl to strangers. No, I mean, not, no. not to <laughs> I'm me. kidding, okay. Don't, don't think that I'm just out here always that, shooting baby girl out to anybody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of believed you at first. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Very believable when my yeah, girl. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, he called me baby girl and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of not interested. And like, hey, I'm sorry. I kind of replied to him, uh, to his message. I said, hey, I'm sorry, but I just got kind of busy. And then he replied with all good. And then that was my cue. Okay, okay, that's fine. I can ghost him now because yeah. he said all good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mean, like, I don't have like, So you don't you know, feel bad that he's ba hey, baby girling other people now? Uh, not really, because <laughs> Malemo, like the girl he's talking to right now, is kind of into him, but I'm uh, like uh, not. Yeah, everybody finds a way. Yeah, yeah, like I don't, I don't owe him anything anyway. Of course not. Not, not yeah. to anyone, because uh, like especially in online dating, you don't, uh, you don't owe anyone anything. Of course, yeah. Yeah. But then, so the question that Nicole asked again, I mean, so was uh, if I get what you do when you get ghosted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get ghosted, um, if you have feelings for the person, like. Sometimes you don't have any choice but to move on right. and keep yourself busy, you know? Yeah. Just find a hobby, just focus on your work, focus on yourself. Because if that person really doesn't want to talk to you anymore, then why force it? Yeah. Because it's better, that. yeah, diba. But I think, okay, so I think this, right? I think there's a timeline of ghosting. Let's say Bumble okay. or Tinder. Yeah. That just right off the bat, would you think, like, you're the girl, so you have to message first? You don't get a reply back, that's not ghosting. That's not ghosting. That's not ghosting. That's not ghosting. At what point do you think it's ghosting? Um, when you guys talk and when you guys meet up. Oh, really? When meet up? So, yeah, like, let's say online you, dating. When you guys then, meet up for the first time. Yeah. Let's say, for example, first time you went on a coffee date and, like, just, you know, you felt like just ghosting this person because this person was not it. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't, you didn't click. Yeah. So, 
that's when I say it's ghosting, when you meet up and then just stop talking to the person. Mm -hmm. No updates whatsoever, stuff like that. And then at what point is it not ghosting anymore, but like incredibly rude? Uh -huh. At one point, is it not ghosting anymore? That's right. So let's say, um, how many times you have to see each other? How long have you been dating with the same person? Oh, okay. Where you think it's unacceptable to ghost at that point. I think we're live again, by the way. Yeah, we are. Oh, we're live. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. There we go. So yeah. I think when you start love bombing the person, like you give them compliments and you make paasa. You know what paasa is? Like no. <laughs> you, um, you set up their expectations. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like yeah, they're yeah. expecting that, that you guys are a thing and then you ghost. That's rude. Yeah. That's rude. I mean, if you guys have like feelings for each other and then you just, you know, your feelings just vanished and then you started ghosting, that's, for me, that's rude. I yeah. mean, communication is very important. Exactly, that's what I always say. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, like, um, I feel the same way about ghosting, let's say that that time frame at least. Yeah. But it is just swallow it and go on. Right? Yeah. You just like take it, yeah. done. I mean, you share yeah. that short period together, cherish it, whatever yeah. it was, learn, continue. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check out some more questions here since we were already at it. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Hey, what are the best online dating platforms? <laughs> um, I only personally, use two. I only use two as well, right. Tinder and Bumble. Yeah. But I hate Tinder because same. Diba? Tinder's I, I like feel like Tinder's so what you say icky, like yeah, you know, it's like icky. It, yeah, yeah, it just feels a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, parang, alam mo yung, there's no love in Tinder for me. Personally, because like yeah. people, people on Tinder are looking for, I'm sorry for saying this, uh, um, sex. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah, they're looking for sex all the time. And, and Bumble, not every, I mean, there are some, of course, mm -hmm. but not everyone is. Yeah. Diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So you say you prefer Bumble as well. I also I, I prefer, prefer Bumble. Yeah, I prefer yeah, Bumble. Yeah. 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 And the I app is like more manageable. You know, it's more convenient to use. The user experience? Yeah, the user, ex the <laughs> user experience. The user experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. I think so, too. I think that uh, I prefer Bumble, especially because I don't have to craft the first message. <laughs> I mean, guys <laughs> prefer it. I prefer it as, as well, as a it, woman. I think it, it, it yeah. like breaks that stigma a little bit, you know, it's like guys having to yeah, make the first yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, exactly, rah, 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 exactly. You know, I think it's kind of fun, like, to be on the, that receiving end of, like, what would they come up with? Yeah, okay. exactly. What messages do you not answer? I mean, sorry. What what are the because you're the girl you you're the yeah, one that's yeah, messaged for yeah. sorry. What are what are the messages that you usually send out? Are they crafted to their profile or you're the person who just says hi? I'm the person who just says hi. Just says hi. Yeah, I would have ghosted you. Well, whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm I'm too lazy to like even you know think. Of, I mean, if the person replies with hey how are you, I would reply and then mm -hmm. I would like think of something that's you know that's what when they reply to me that's when i scan their profile and think of what topics i can you know put put on the table okay yeah so you just first shoot the message yeah i just first say yeah. hi and then if they reply to me that's when i you know just shoot my shot <laughs> okay so then let's say you shoot the message yeah uh, they reply what are things you wouldn't reply to them Oh, because I, I usually get replies asking me if I'm trans. I reply with, no, I'm not. But I'm not, I'm not offended by it. But I don't reply when they ask me again, are you sure? Get the fuck out. Somebody has... All the time. All the time. Every single time. All the time. Are wow. you trans? And then I would ask them, why are you asking me if I'm trans? Yeah. And then they would say, oh, because nowadays you can't really tell. I'm like, okay. But I'm not really offended by it, honestly. No, I'm just I'm right. offended when they're like, "Are you sure?" Yeah, that's like how would I not be them. sure? <laughs> I mean, according to my birth certificate, I'm, <laughs> I'm I was born a female, so yeah. I can't believe they asked that follow-up question. Yeah, yeah I mean, so not I'm not saying that trans women are not women, but no, no, no. But I mean, yeah. just that like the that that like. Well, again, like that disbelief, like, are you sure? Like, yeah. It's like, and then what you're going to say, oh, you got me. Like, what are you, yeah, what are you going to do? I mean, that? should I ask you, like, do you have a dick? Yeah. Should I ask the guy, do you have a dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, like, it's not something that you should, it's, it's not an appropriate question. No, I don't think so. Right? Either. I mean, like, I get what you mean. In the beginning, maybe if you're really unsure. Yeah. But I don't feel like it's appropriate to ask right off the bat. Like, like yeah. hi, are you trans? <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's very intense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have you ever gone out with somebody who asked that? 
Sorry? Have you ever gone out with somebody who where the oh, conversation no, 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 started no, 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 with no. already dressed? No, I don't. No, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't go out with people like that, you know, because I think it's a waste. Of, it's a waste of time. Because you know, I would think of a topic, and they would be like, you know, keep asking me questions about my gender, mm-hmm. and I'd be like. Yeah, this is pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would rather not, you know. Uh, that's true, I get that. Yeah. So you use two dating apps, I you also use these two, Bumble and Tinder. Yeah, but uh, I deleted Tinder. I deleted them both. Yeah. Oh, you, de- you deleted yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah There's okay. something, so just for you viewers, uh, I recently deleted Bumble and Tinder. Yay! I know, I'm really happy with myself. Love that for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Super happy about it. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Yeah. You found love. I in did. I found app. love, and yeah. but I have more than enough experience when it comes to these things. But yeah. I understood that you recently downloaded again. Yeah, because um, going back, the, but the last time I used the dating app was in college. Yeah. And then now I, when I went to Bali, I went to Bali recently because mm-hmm. I went soul searching. I wanted to eat, pray, love. Yes. You know, because I was going. One of them was there in the movie or the book. Sorry. It was. One of the eat, pray, love things were there. Was there? No, in Bali. Yeah, yeah, it, Which it one is. Which it? What do you mean? I thought it was segmented to three countries: eat, pray, love. I think pray was in. Um, the, uh, I think love, love is in Bali. Love is in Bali. Yeah, yeah. love is in Bali. Okay, so Pero you were like, "This is gonna happen." Yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't expecting it. I, I used it as I said that as a joke at yeah. first. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go to Bali to eat, pray, love," but I'm just really going there to like go on a vacation with my friends. Okay. And I wanted to have fun with them. And then when I was in Bali, my friend Dane, she was like, girl, you know, you're single. You have to download Bumble. I'm like, uh, I don't want to go into that because I'm too lazy to like even date, you know. Yeah. I just want to travel. I just want to have fun, go on adventures. And she's like, no, I'm going to download it for you. I'm like, okay, I'm going to download it. I'm going to download it myself na lang, and then stuff like that. And then when I downloaded we, we called ourselves the working girls because imagine three, three four three. of us, four yeah. of us, four of me and my friends, we were just sitting down, like slouching and just swiping and swiping. So if you look at if us. If you watched her, by the way, she was just swiping left the yeah, whole time. Yeah, just, just swiping and swiping and swiping. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I, I wasn't matching with anyone on Tinder. And then I downloaded the bubble. I'm like, oh, I, have, I have a match, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> like, congratulations. <laughs> And then I started to do premium, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so convenient. Wow. Premium changes lives. It changes I lives. I think it changes. I, it think it, I, I prefer <laughs> premium as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So when I discovered premium, I was like, okay, I, I don't have to like swipe. Yeah, you don't have to do like a chance life. thing kind of. Yeah, yeah, I just have to like scroll and, you know, find <coughs> someone who I like, who I find attractive. Mm-hmm. So I did that, and then I matched with a couple of guys, and uh, yeah, that w- that's the start of it. And are you still active now? No, no, I'm not active anymore. <gasps> are you going to delete it soon too? Yeah, I'm actually, uh, s- supposedly, I was supposed to delete it like two weeks ago. Okay. Because I don't find it interesting anymore. No. You know? I think and Bali, I mean, it has the eat, pray, love factor to yeah, it. Yeah, and Here in doing Bumble in Manila is like, what? Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, so really? really? Yeah. Like, I don't really like Bumble in Manila. Mm-hmm. I had no choice. Yeah, because, <laughs> you know, um, going premium in Manila, you see the people who swipe you, who swipe right on you, and who super swipes you, and you just, eh, I, I don't find them attractive. It's not that yeah, I find okay. them bang it, but I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I find them bang it. Just no. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What We're a We're not stress. doing plastic yeah. here, so, yeah. Okay, so you're also going to delete Bumble soon. That means you met somebody, no? Yeah, I did meet someone. Ooh. Yeah, actually, Bali. in Bali, wow. yeah, because I went on, um, I went on, wait, the first date. I'm going to start with the first date first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I matched with this guy, and I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. And then we had a conversation, like, the first day. And the conversation was, it was okay. It was, mm-hmm. like, amazing. And then, like, the personality is a sense of humor. We, we both clicked yeah. through messaging. And then he was like, are you going to do something tonight? I'm like, no, not really. My friends are like lazy to go out because we just arrived from Manila. Yeah. And then he's like, you want to go out? I can pick you up. I was like, okay. okay. Oh, he lived there? Um, oh, he, was, he was on vacation as also. well. Also. But he was renting a motorbike. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. He's actually um, Moroccan. And then uh, when I met him in person, I was like, really, I was kind of nervous, you know, because mm-hmm first time to that's meet someone to, yeah, in but a I think it's nice country. if you can still be nervous you know I mean that's good yeah right? I, I mean it's a, and it's a foreign country it's kind of like doing a live stream you know and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
So going back, yeah. When he picked me up, I was like, okay, who's that? Because he was like, and I was like, who? Me? Because he's not the, the same person in his pictures. And I was like, oh my god, did I just get catfished for the first time? And then I walk, and I was like, are you blah 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 blah? He's like, yeah, and he hugged me. And the first, the, um, my first impression was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of scary. No, that, like, that, yeah, like don't know, hug like, someone like a random stranger. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, why is he hugging me? I have, well, a, I have a problem with with physical touch. To okay, be yeah. Yeah, and then especially from strangers, I assume. Yeah, and yeah. he was wearing like a tank top and a, um, what do you call that? It's like a skirt that you wrap around. He was wearing that, so I was like, why is he wearing? Okay, you're in Bali, so he <laughs> he must have went surfing. It would be funny if you were wearing the same thing, you know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it so. Just to cut you off a little bit, I okay. always ask them what they wear on our first on their first date and as a joke. Yeah. And they always say, like, "I'm wearing this." I'm like, "Okay, thank God," because I was thinking of wearing that, and that would have been super <laughs> awkward. Yeah. That would have <laughs> been funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it wasn't the person that you saw. Yeah, it was like it wasn't really a totally different person, but this per but this person had abs in the picture. Yes. And in person, like I didn't like recognize him. You know, he looked like really really fit, and he looked handsome. But in person, he looked oh sorry, I thought yeah, in person. <laughs> in, in, in person, it was yeah. it was a different person. That like, it was really different. Like, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm so sorry, but he his body he, he doesn't have abs. Yeah. I, I can just tell. Oh. I can just tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just tell. Yeah. So I was like, okay, the body isn't it. And the face wasn't it as well. And the body odor wasn't it. So those were my icks. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I was like, okay, I'm going to give this a shot because like, his personality was okay in messaging. So yeah. why not? You know, he seems really nice. So we went on this, uh, we went to his hostel first. I didn't go up. No good. He, he left me yeah. downstairs for 30 minutes. I was like, okay, it's my first time in Bali and it's my first day in Bali, so what the fuck am I gonna do here? And then he left me with two German, with a German couple, but they were really nice. And they're yeah. like, where's your guy? I'm like, he's not my guy, first of all. <laughs> he's not my guy. He's just a friend. Like, actually, I just met him tonight. And they were like, oh, okay. And then they were like accompanying me. We're having conversations about history, stuff like that, about German history, yeah, so which was very interesting yeah. to me. Good and way to kill time. We actually. were drinking because we were at a convenience store, so we were drinking a bottle. We were drinking bottles of beer and stuff like that. And then he went down. He got himself dressed, and he was like apologizing because he took so long. And I'm like, "What did you do?" He's like, "Oh, I took a shower." <laughs> you took a 30, 30 minute shower? It would have been funny if he came down with abs. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, totally boom <laughs> reform. Like. Yeah, but that's not the case. He no. looked the same, but fresh. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, we were having conversations. We went to our first destination. We were having a really um, deep conversation. And his personality in person was kind of, uh, he's kind of, how do you say this, mahangin, mayabang? You know, oh really? Yeah, okay. yeah, he yeah. was he was that. So I was like, oh, he's not down to earth. No, I can't, can't. He his ego is. I can just tell. Like his ego is really high. So I had to message my friend. I said, girl, SOS, help me out. <laughs> just pretend that you are in trouble, and I have to help you and pick you up from your failed bumble date. Okay, yeah. So my friend <laughs> was like messaging plan. me. And it was, it was my friend Dallas was flooding me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had to show him. I was like, I, I told my friend, speak in Tagalog because he's Moroccan. Don't speak in English because he, he would understand. And then my friend was like, Rob, Rob, tulungan mo ako, tulungan mo ako, stuff like that. And then I showed the guy. I'm like, I'm so sorry. My friend keeps flooding me. I have to save my friend from a failed bumble date. And he's like, oh, I'll, I'll take you. I'm like, no, no, I'm okay. I'm okay because that's like two hours away. <laughs> and he's like, Okay, so when you save your friend, what if the guy is like really dangerous? What are you gonna do about it? I'm like, oh, I know karate. <laughs> I, I can like do something. Did self he ask you to demonstrate? Uh, I was hoping that he wouldn't, but he didn't. So. Lucky oh, he didn't. Me. Okay, you said you made it sound like he was about to ask you. Like I was yeah. hoping he wouldn't, but he yeah. did. 
Oh, he did. No, no, no. Oh. He didn't ask me. He didn't ask me. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Or just so, like really specific terms about and he had to like. Yeah, answer. and then <laughs> I booked a Gojek. A Gojek is like an Ankas or yeah. a Joy that in Bali. So I booked a Gojek, and then I was like, okay, where's where's this pin? Because this is not the pin I pinned at the pickup mm -hmm. point. And then he was like. Can I see? He grabbed my phone and he saw him, he saw the drop off was at, was at my villa. Okay. And then that's the time that I felt really awkward because he knew that I was gonna ghost him and he knew that I was gonna ditch him. Yes. And then his face from smiling was like this. Oh, if you want, la la la. Hmm. You know, he kind of knew. And then after that, I didn't really message him anymore. And then he didn't message as well. So I was like. <sighs> Thank <laughs> Just God. A bit, yeah, Thank I mean, like, God. like I didn't have I think to, those like, things. Yeah, everybody goes through a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. I, for example, I have this thing that I can kind of really tell in like five minutes. Hmm? You can tell in five minutes into a date, somebody met online. Yeah. And you're face yeah, you to face, tell, a person. You know, you're just like, like the aura and yeah, the vibes like I gotta and everything. Yeah. Hours of yeah. This and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the risk of it, really. Yeah, that's the risk you know? of it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like a first date, so no big deal. See, so you really know what's really funny for the viewers? Okay, you're currently seeing someone. Right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but it's not like serious. But you met him in Bali. I met him in Bali. Yeah, so I thought this was the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what? How is how is this person but, but, gonna but salvage was, all this? I was gonna get through oh, to that. Oh, okay, so sorry. I was gonna get to that. <laughs> yeah. So after that, I got turned off with Bumble. Like, okay, I'm mm, gonna take a yeah. break from Bumble and I'm gonna hang out with my friends. And then, of course, I swipe right on a couple on a bunch of guys. And then I said hi to all of those guys that swiped right with me, that I matched with. So this guy, um, he replied to me. He's like, he replied to my hi and he said, are you doing something today? I'm like, no, I'm not really doing something. Why? He's like, do you want to meet up? Let's go to this place. Well, he had everything planned out. So, okay, this guy knows what he wants. Yeah. He had a plan. I'm like, okay, sure. And then he picked me up. He was supposed to pick me up at La Brisa, at this like beach club. It's really nice there. Mm -hmm. I was with friends. We had a table. We were, uh, we were like looking at the sunset. And then when he arrived, he's like, I'm here. And I said, is it okay if you go to our table so that my friends can see you and meet you so that they would know I'm safe? Because I'm afraid of getting catfished again. You yeah. Know? I don't want to Can you imagine it's the same it. guy? <laughs> oh my god, that would have been a disaster. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That would have been yeah. a nightmare. <laughs> would have been pretty funny. <laughs> I would have been, yeah. So he went to the table and I was like, I wasn't looking. I was like looking at this guy and I was telling my friends, can you, can you, can you see him? Is he a catfish? And my friend's like, Grin a pogi? <laughs> like, he's really handsome. I'm like, I got that guy. I was like, really? And then he said, yeah, go on the end, go and he's tall. I'm like, okay. And then when he got to our table, that's when I looked at him. I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. I, I, I mean, we can, we can make this work, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then the first thing he asked is that, oh, you have a nice table. Do you, want, do you want me to stay here? Do you want us to stay here so that your friends can see us so that they know you're safe? I'm like, green flag, green yeah, flag. Yeah, yeah. I have that too. I, whenever I meet somebody, I always ask, does anybody know we're here? Uh -huh. You know, just in case. Because I feel like, Safety in the Philippines, at least, yeah, it's a yeah. bit dodgy, and especially yeah, if you have like is, a catfish story. Imagine in Bali, it should be very similar to yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So I always ask, like, hey. Yeah, it's better, yeah. right? Does somebody know you're here? And when they say no, I'm like, hmm. you better tell someone. Yeah, <laughs> if they say no, I'm worried for my safety. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, going back to the story. Yes. So we sat there, we were talking. I wasn't even looking at my friends. We were like eye to eye having like deep conversations. Just and right off the bat. Yeah, just right off the bat. And like instantly I felt like, oh, wow. Because I'm naturally, I'm really talkative. And I like to talk mm -hmm. about history, politics, and other, you know, relevant stuff. Yeah. I like in interesting topics. I, I hate boring topics. So when he was, you know, was talking to me, I'm like this, this guy is very interesting, okay. like good. really interesting, which is good. And he he's good looking, so <laughs> like <Yes>. plus <laughs> points, and he has abs. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Really, that, is that a pr requirement for you? You look at profiles, you're like, where are the abs? Yeah, that's <laughs> a requirement for me because really? I go to the gym. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I've know. been to the gym. Oh, you've been. Oh, Once. okay. <laughs> well, that's a good yeah, start. Yeah. You know. There. Anyways, so this guy. 
had the plan for you? Did it happen? Did you guys uh, go we, on a we little? Did, we didn't go out ah, anymore. Okay. We, did, we didn't do the plan anymore because we stayed at the table. Yeah. And then my friends were all taking pictures of us, you know, candid photos. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Yeah, but you're going to remember it. Yeah, but, you know I mean? but I, I'm kind of thankful for my friends for taking pictures. Because after that, you know, I, I had a souvenir. <laughs> I would call it a souvenir of that memorable Bali trip. And I can tell that he was the highlight of my Bali trip. Because mm -hmm. after that, I kind of thought um, we went to another club and then... We just, you know, vibed. Yeah. We were dancing, and then when my friends were all exhausted, I wasn't, you know, I still wanted to party. Yeah, but it gives you that energy, you know, when you meet somebody that's yeah. like, it keeps you alive, you know, you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. If, especially if it just started, it's a lot of like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then I asked him, I was like, do you still want to drink? He's like, yeah, sure, I'm down. So we went to another club in Changu in Bali. Mm -hmm. And then I'm assuming all these places are in Bali because yeah, I would not know anything. Magulat ka if it's in Malaysia. Yeah, <laughs> hell of a night. Yeah, hell yeah. of a night. And then we went dancing and drinking. It was it was nice because the eye to eye contact was, you know, for me intense. I don't know with him, but for me it was intense. Mm -hmm. And then after that, because um, my villa was like two hours away and we were intoxicated, so we went to his villa. Nothing happened. FYI, nothing happened. We didn't even cuddle. You tell them, you don't tell me. Nothing. <laughs> Wait, where's the camera? Nothing yeah, happened. There you go. <laughs> we didn't even cuddle. We didn't even cuddle. Did he say, I'll sleep on the couch, you can stay on my bed? No, there wasn't a couch, so he had no choice. We had to sleep in the same bed, but, yeah, but we had like a huge gap. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then before we slept, he was like, do you need pajamas? I'm like, yes, please, because I, I didn't want to sleep. Yeah, you were just like partied yeah. out, you know. Yeah, he gave me like a large shirt and like boxers and I'm, I was good with that good. and then I couldn't sleep properly he knows about this I couldn't sleep properly because he didn't turn on the AC <laughs> it was <laughs> it's in Bali is that like a foreigner thing you think because I don't uh, it's, I don't keep with AC either yeah it's a European yeah, thing I think yeah. So, yeah, yeah I don't I refuse to turn on the AC yeah because really. you get sick with, a, with that's AC that's what I have to yeah it's a, it's a European yeah, thing yeah, yeah, yeah the AC if I turn on AC when I want to cut work the next day Oh, <laughs> you're I'm one kidding. of those Europeans. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> no, but it, it is. I, I get what he means. It gives you like a cold. You're not used to like the, the temperature, mm -hmm. all these things. This electric fan is fine. Well, we yeah. we did, he didn't have an electric fan. Just he had like nothing. Open. So I was yeah. like moving around, like finding this, the cold spots in the sheets. Yeah. Because it was like I was sweating like crazy. And then I woke up at, at around 6 a.m. And I stood up. I went to the bathroom. I went out. I'm like and changed my clothes into the clothes that I was wearing the night before. I, I, to I told him, oh, I think I'm going to go because I'm really hungry. Hmm. He's like, oh, okay, you just woke up. And then I just went out. He brought me to the door because he was still sleepy. And I, I understand. And I booked the Gojek going back to the villa. It took like two hours. On a scooter? On a scooter, yeah. Wow. It's really far. But was the traffic the same or was it just like... Oh, the traffic in Bali is crazy. Oh, so it's not like you were just two hours long, just yeah. If you hated, cruising. if you hate Manila traffic, you would hate Bali traffic more, because like the motorcycles are like really crazy there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I got to the villa, and the first thing I did was go inside my friend's room. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, I had like the best <laughs> night of my life. And then, and then my friend's like, okay, tell me everything. And that time, he, my friend had a date. Like <laughs> we slept over at her room, and I was like, I was telling them everything, and then the conversations that we had, and then after that, I'm like, okay, is is he gonna? Do you think he's gonna message me after this? Because mm -hmm. I kind of like, you know, just left. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you tr trust destiny, girl. I think he's gonna message you because we they all think he likes me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't think he likes me because he didn't even offer me breakfast. Because <laughs> I told him I was hungry. Yeah. And he didn't like offer me, if we, like ask me if he wanted to eat breakfast with me. So I was like, okay, he doesn't like me. I was overthinking everything because I was like, I, I really like him, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, after that, he messaged me again. And then? And, and then, now, what about now? Are you guys still seeing each other? Um, yeah, so I went, I went back to the Philippines. In ba before that, in Bali, we went on a couple of dates. It was like quick dates. It wasn't like the whole day. No. So I, I had to go back to the Philippines. We didn't really get to say goodbye to each other. Yeah, I mean, that's like And that. then when I got home, I was like, should we follow each other on Instagram? Because we're talking on WhatsApp. Yeah. 
And then I, di I didn't know shit about him. So he's like, yeah, sure. So we followed each other on Instagram. And then we started talking. And it, it wasn't like consistent talking. Like with, with, with European guys, like they, they're not like Filipino guys who's like, you know, fast repliers. So Filipinos are fast repliers. You saying that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. And we're used to that. So I'm like, okay, maybe this guy isn't like interested in me. So I just, you know, let time fly and then went on a couple of dates as well that, that didn't really work. And then fast forward, we're still talking. And then he said that he's going to go to Vietnam. And I'm like, oh, you want it? As a joke, I said, you want to meet in Vietnam? <laughs> as a joke. Yeah, and sure. then after as a, that, as a joke. yeah, as a joke, as right? a joke, yeah, because yeah. I'm actually planning to go to Vietnam, but not to meet him, no. you know. <laughs> and then he said, Oh, I'm gonna go to Manila instead. I'm hey, like, what maybe he was what? waiting for you to make that joke? Hmm? He was just waiting for you to make that joke, he was gonna come probably. up, probably, yeah, probably. And then I was like, Okay, this must be nothing because he's only going to Vietnam because of his like immigration thing because mm -hmm. he can't you know can't stay in, stay in the same yeah, yeah yeah he has to leave the country and just go back so i'm like okay he, he this doesn't mean anything you know he's just oh. going to manila and then he arrived in manila i picked him up from the airport my, my, fr my friends were like girl you're so annoyed why are you picking him up from the airport <laughs> that's not something that a bumble date should do I'm like is this still a bumble date yeah does yeah. it count how, like i don't think it counts anymore as a bumble date the guy's flying to manila yeah like this is not a bumble date anymore and he's like going here and then we're gonna you know hang out yeah so i picked him up and then after that it was just you know happiness all along the way when was this huh when was this when did you um saturday just this saturday okay yeah, and he's still here he's still here yeah until when until march 10. Oh, that's so much time. Yeah, it's like two weeks. But they might fall so in love. <laughs> this <laughs> might be sure. it. This might be it for you, Rob. Maybe, maybe. You know, as much as I love hearing the story, we have so many questions here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, we're just we're talking about you. He, he's he's not Filipino, I assume. He's French. He's French. He's right? full French. So let's yeah. talk about you know. I mean, we're going to talk about online dating, but like one of the questions here was um, dating Filipinos compared to foreigners. <laughs> okay, so I grew up abroad, so I yeah. predominantly dated people yeah. who are not Filipino. I've dated yeah. Filipinos in, in abroad, but not like exclusively. Yeah, okay, I guess. And yeah. from my perspective, it is very different. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that I really run into quite a lot is I've never heard about the term love languages. Love languages. Love languages so until you don't I came here. Oh, right? like, okay. Uh, it was so lost on me and mm -hmm. um, something that I have a hard time understanding. And I think it's because of my, you know, foreign background. Yeah, the culture. The, probably, yes, yeah. the culture difference. But like acts of service oh. is like number one here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I don't get it. You don't get it? I don't understand acts of service. Because I feel that, if, what is it? Physical touch, quality time. Gift giving. Gift giving and acts and, of service. And words of affirmation, sorry. And acts of service, yeah. right? But I feel like acts of service is kind of everything combined. Everything that you have to do yeah. to make a relationship work or, you know. Yeah. So whenever people say acts of service, I'm kind of like, the first time it was described to me, I was thinking, so you want me to do like chores and errands for you? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, sorry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 I, yeah I, under I, I understand what it is now. I think I hope. Oof. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's still kind of yeah. lost in me. And I think I had a really big problem in the first time I dated a girl here for yeah. a long period of time was about five months. Mm -hmm. And she was like acts of service. And she would constantly remind me like this, which I didn't like. She goes like, um, yeah, but my friends understand my needs. They understand all these things. But she yeah. also referred was to acts of service. But I, it wasn't mm -hmm. like fully in my yeah. scope, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember I called up a close friend of mine. I'm like, hey, guys, listen, do you know this thing about love languages? And then and she was like, yeah, and I'm like, why have we never talked about this? You know, like <laughs> nobody d around me mm -hmm. has ever talked about love languages. Honestly, if I'm going to be quite honest, yeah. I didn't know about about love languages until TikTok. Really? Yeah, because I, I, I was going I, I was scrolling through my FYP and then like this was there was this topic about love languages. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. And then I just kind of <laughs> watch it. I'm like, oh, I think I have. I think my love language is everything. Exactly what I think. Yeah. I think to be in a 
perfectly complete relationship. I don't have like everything. I don't. I don't have yeah. just one. I have everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I yeah. see it as well. But people s here categorize it, and then you know they they really feel love through that certain type of mm -hmm. love language, which is kind of mm -hmm. difficult. And I think that because let's say again talking about dating Filipinos and foreigners mm -hmm. is because I have never had the scope of love languages, and here mm -hmm. it's really in my head mm -hmm. about love language is a real thing. Yeah. I think that would be one of the biggest differences. Yeah. At least for me, I don't really have like that much experience that I can be like, oh, uh, foreigners are more like this, or yeah. Filipinos are more like this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, based on experience, because I've dated Filipinos my entire life. Yes. <laughs> my entire oh, life. is this the first person you dated who's not Filipino? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Which one's better? Um, actually, this is better because mm -hmm. uh, the Filipinos that I dated, I always had to spend for them. Spend? Yeah. Whenever we would go out, we would go out on dates, like. Say for example, they would never like really ask ask me out on a date. They'd be like, "You want to hang out?" For me, that's not considered as like, yeah. a date, like a formal one. And then I would pay, I would pay for dinner. Like, I, I'm actually always waiting for them to like, you know, you know, I got this. But no. At least the dance. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at least like 50-50, <laughs> right? Yeah, or just like uh, I got this, and you say no, I have this. Blah, blah, yeah, and or like I up. got dinner, and then okay, I'm gonna get dinner next time. You know, yeah, stuff exactly. Like, but yeah. no initiation Actually, whatsoever. I, yeah. Or I just attract the wrong men, the wrong Filipino men. <laughs> it's, it's, it might this be is that, what happens you know? when you're on Tinder. Oh no, no, no. no I didn't meet <laughs> them on Tinder. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I didn't meet them on Tinder. They were like my friends before. So I was like, oh. You, so oh, they were friends of yours who you went out with. Uh, yeah, okay. like we used to be friends and then like something developed and like I like the personalities and mm -hmm. stuff And then I got to like really get to know them when we started being in a relationship you get yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like I, I'll probably not date a Filipino again mm. because of the trauma <laughs> Really? Is it that bad? It's really bad. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna go yeah. into detail, but it was really bad You should see I have this like <laughs> I'm not sure if I should say this mm. but um uh, I feel like a lot of Filipino men and I'm Partially, I might be the same as well. Mm -hmm. Fragile egos. Mm. Right? Snowflakes. What, is <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Fragile. Oh, like that. It's like yeah. a snow. <laughs> I thought the guy was like special. <laughs> 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 I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, no. So, yeah, really? So, you agree with this? Yeah, fragile yeah. masculinity. Yeah, you think so? Most of the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like jealousy, clinginess, and all these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. jealousy. Uh, especially jealousy. You know what the celos? You know what celos means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah celos, you know. It's kind of draining, and sometimes they're like super clingy to the point. With my exes, based on experience, like whenever I would be in a relationship with two of my exes, um, not whenever, but when I was in a relationship with two of my exes, they wouldn't let me see my friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah, they won't let yeah. me see my friends. They want all the time and attention to be on them. And I didn't like that because I'm an extrovert. I have to always go out. And I became a couch potato, you know, I kind of slacked off. I forgot about work. I forgot about life. It was always him, 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 because that's what they wanted. Yeah. And they would end up cheating on me. What? <laughs> but I feel like I've heard these stories before. It always happens. Yeah. Like but with, I, okay. with all of my exes, all of them ends up cheating on me. That would be so traumatizing after a while. Yeah, like yeah. you would find another guy and you, you, you'd think that this guy is amazing, mm -hmm. great, but they would cheat on you. And like, oh my God, this is happening over and over and over again. It's like, you know. I, I think that's like a really like a big loop. thing here, adultery. Yeah, adultery, like yeah. It's huge. I mean, I always say, uh, yes, like you hear it like more from men, but it takes two to tango. It's not really like a of. Filipino thing. It happens everywhere. But yeah, yeah, but I feel like here it's really evident. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I've been around guys, guy mm -hmm. friends here or whatever, and then... Like they would just like randomly just slip that they're seeing somebody else except for their own partner, kind yeah. of. And I think that I'm like, huh. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. It's not ethical. And I spoke. Ethical. I, I, spoke <laughs> I spoke to someone about this, and they said, um, yeah, it's okay because you know we go to church. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? You're you, gonna you put kinda, religion into I'm the not, table? I'm not. I'm not kidding. This has actually happened. They're like, uh. So that makes you a hypocrite. You <laughs> yeah, know, you exactly, go, you right? go to church and then you. And still you, do you sins. ask for forgiveness. And then you see me get it, and you're like, I'm but done. Make it make sense. Yeah, I'll do this again next week. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> no. The yeah. Lord won't forgive you, honey. <laughs> yeah. You're but still I mean, making but sin. But to an extent, I think that they believe that. That they can, like, like, I've heard this. I'm not saying that it's true. Like, as long as they repent? Yeah, yeah. It's like, repent. Oh, I feel so bad now. And then like, next week, I'm like, oh, 
honey, you act so bad. Oh, honey. Yeah, like <laughs> no, no, that's not it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, I've, so I've, what do you think? I've heard that before. The, that um, fragile egos, and yeah. then they end up cheating. Yeah, I yeah. think it's an insecurity thing, you know. I think so too. You need the validation. Yeah, you need even though like they have like validation. because you're making it sound like they controlled your lifestyle a little bit, lifestyle a little bit. You yeah, know, that you couldn't yeah. go out and all these things, and suddenly, you know, they have that control. Like, okay, look, yeah, I have the the connection that I want with her that she's here with me. Yeah, but they still want the validation from outside. Yeah, I think it's because they think that they can get every they they got me and they <laughs> they're like we want more. Yeah, they want yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know. I think. I just think it, it's an insecurity thing. Like yeah. they couldn't. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't get it. Because when you love someone, like for example, me, when I love someone, I can't find myself cheating on that person because it icks me. Yeah. You know, just the thought of, you know, dating another person while I'm in a relationship. Mm. You know, it feels. I, I feel guilty after. I do. It's not yeah, that I do I that. Get that too. Yeah, it's not that I do that, but it's just not right. You no. know. I understand what you mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's okay, move over to more questions. To question. I feel like we're not, we have a board here where all the topics we're going to discuss. Yeah. I feel like we're going to skim right over them. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Oh, sorry, I'm stuck somewhere. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Someone said the music is quite loud. It's hard to hear you guys. There's music? Oh, There's no. There's music? There must be a ghost. <laughs> is there music? Oh, <laughs> oh, maybe it's outside, oh coming from outside. We have so, oh, uh, so many, so many. Okay, let's see. Okay, I question want to, to read. The, question to the host. Uh, there, oh, sorry, let's let's move this a little closer. Okay, sorry, here. sure. Uh, this yeah. is the first one I saw by Teo. Uh, question to the host: How is the perspective on dating in the Philippines versus when when, when he was in Europe? How did he know I was in Europe? <laughs> I didn't say that. No. Um, again, uh, I think the most relationships that I've had are just more long term. I never really dated shortly, short term. Yeah. Maybe like a more like casual relationship. Yeah. Um, again, it, it comes down to like love languages and understanding mm -hmm. the needs here. And mm -hmm. um, so now I have uh, a partner, and yeah. she's fantastic. Blows my mind. Wow. But um, yeah. I good for you. Can't really get over this person. But and I can't stop thinking about her. And wow. she's not watching. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no, but um, perspective wise, I would think that, um, how do I put this? Uh, I've also never really dated Europeans <laughs> either in Europe. Really? My, my only two other girlfriends were from Iran, who oh, lived in the Netherlands, okay. coincidentally. So it was also like dating a whole different culture inside a different culture. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, I have one thing if they have good food, then I'm all right. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. but perspective wise, I, I, I think that uh, from relationships, you just kind of grow into what you want more. So yeah. I think when I came to the Philippines, I was more critical into what I wanted in a relationship because yeah. if you've been heartbroken or you have a bad luck, you know what yeah. I mean? I think the same with you with like, you know, being cheated on that you kind of yeah. like have a whole other defense system. Yeah, I, I yeah. always have my walls up. Yeah, exactly. Now, you know, because yeah. I, I, I don't want to get hurt anymore. Nobody does. Nobody does. Yeah. And, and honestly, that's happened to me as well here Yeah. until now. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let oh. myself feel if this is worth the heartbreak. Oh if no. it ever happens, if it ever happens, yeah. Hoping it never will happen. Yeah. So the perspective-wise, I mean, like it more comes to like uh, I think for me the experiences that I came across. Yeah. yeah. And the same with you. You also have like poor experiences here. Yeah, really poor. Experiences. So you're saying that dating foreigners is better than dating? I'm not saying it's like better, better, but like it's a change. You know, you get to discover different cultures yeah. through these foreigners. Yeah. <laughs> like you discover new words, languages, and uh -huh. you know, you just know how you, you know how they um you just discover how they treat women yeah. based on their culture yeah yeah, yeah yeah would you think that there's like a sort of like power distance what do you mean uh like maybe because i've heard this before i'm not saying this because uh out of nowhere yeah but for example i've heard people say here that they do not like dating filipinas do not like dating some uh, foreign people or white people because they feel like they're being more objectified really yeah I don't know if you have, we don't have to talk about this if we could not talk about oh, I it. Did, I didn't know that. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, I've heard this a few times that they, they don't want to date foreigners and all these like things. At the end of the day, it's still up to you. It's your choice, mm -hmm. you know, because it doesn't really matter about race doesn't matter for me. No, you know, gender, race doesn't matter for me. As long as you guys click, you click. Yeah. There's no need for, you know, calling out someone, calling out a foreigner for dating a Filipina because they, you know, it's like a fetish or stuff like that. But you know, if it really clicks, it clicks. But you've never seen this before, like an older uh, 
uh, foreign men, usually you know white, I, I, dating I, a much younger Filipino woman. I always woman. see that. I always yeah. see that. If you grew up in, the, I grew up in the Netherlands, right? And I, yeah. You know, I, I'm just well, like, the oh. stereotype with that is that, um, I don't know. I, I feel like they both have, you know, it's a give and take thing. Yeah. Like the foreigner wants a younger Filipina. And the Philippines getting benefits from the foreign <laughs> It's like a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. you, you just know, but no judgment. It's it's them at the end of the exactly, day. Exactly. Yeah. You know, shouldn't, um, we shouldn't like meddle in no. other people's lives. That's true. You know, and label them as such. Right. You want to go through this list again? I'm just gonna go like this through all these comments, and we're gonna. Oh wow, that's a, a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few. So we started here. I think it's it's pretty good. For our okay. first live stream. Thank you so much, Rob. I think this is all because of you. <laughs> You're fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> Your stories are wowing the world. Oh my god. I <laughs> hope I don't make you mad, guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, all the Filipinos men just, like, signed off. Yeah. And hopefully they started reflecting on their fragile masculinity. <laughs> I'm looking at my male Filipino colleagues here in the audience. <laughs> is this you? <laughs> yeah, so Danny said, like, communication is always the key to yes, everything. Yes, absolutely. And I yeah. think with online dating, Compromise, that's also really important. Compromise, yeah, is also the key to everything. Yeah. What are the challenges of long-distance relationships that start online, and how can they be overcome? Oh, uh, the challenges. I think this is more for you. I cannot answer this. Actually, I've never been to this. honestly, I haven't been in a long-distance relationship, because what I'm having now, I don't consider it as a relationship. Mm, really? Yeah, because we didn't really like talk about it yet. But you think you have to talk about it before you can establish it? Uh, eventually, yeah, we yeah. have to. So okay, so this is what happened to me, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with the girl that I'm my girlfriend right now, girlfriend. I have to call her my girlfriend because of this. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I really hope she's not watching. Yeah. I really love her, but <laughs> let's just say this: we talked about the label thing, and we didn't really put importance to labels, right? Yeah. Because I feel like it will just naturally. Happen. come out right yeah but i remember that was like the discussion and then the next day she sent me a selfie of herself she looked wonderful yeah and she goes like look how cute your girlfriend is and i'm oh. like oh yeah perfect done we don't okay, have to talk so about it anymore this it. is my girlfriend perfect i'm happy like this yeah because it's Let's different continue. with the filipino culture because yeah. in the filipino culture you have to like really court the girl yeah, but right? she didn't feel like the labels were also that important but oh. i like this label of girlfriend and boyfriend because i don't want to refer to her as someone that i'm dating yeah, it's, you know it's what I mean. A, it's it's totally different the same. story. But then yeah. your perspective is also a little different because you feel if you don't talk about it quite yet, yeah, we have to like. Because with me, I like to make things clear. Yeah. Like, are we like dating and seeing other people still, mm -hmm. or we're dating exclusively? Like, we don't have to put the label now. We're boyfriend girlfriend. I just wanted to know if we're exclusively dating. You know, so yeah. that I don't, I don't get my hopes up. Is he watching? I'm not sure, actually. Do you want to establish a relationship right <laughs> now? No, 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 no. Like, right now? No, I don't, like, listen. No, because you I, don't, I, I don't want to rush things, no, you course, know? I, I just understand. want the magic to happen. I'm sorry if I just put you on this spot. Like, no, never, no, please never, don't. Like, put some drama into this live stream. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Maybe he's commenting, like, are you my girlfriend? Oh, my God. <laughs> That'd be pretty no, good. I hope not. Yeah. I hope he's not watching. <laughs> no. And there was actually another one here, and I think we it's like, uh, an important thing which was how do you maintain safety while dating online maintain safety if you're dating online and you're seeing this person in person mm -hmm. make sure that it's always in public where a lot of people can see you and yeah. always share location with your friends yeah right that's really important like you yeah. always have to tell someone that you're going to see this person at this place at this time and share location at all times so that, you know, when, when worse comes to worse, I'm not saying that things will go bad. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it's better safe than sorry. So I'm looking, at, so I get what you mean. Mm -hmm. um, um, safety, I think, you know, you have this little stigma for men and women, right? Yeah. You know, I, I appreciate it uh, that you say this because I think it's really important if I go out with a girl that they let somebody know. Yeah. But if yeah, also, course. this is from online dating, if they come over to my place, I'm, oh. on, I'm only okay with it. Yeah. I always say, first of all, 100% sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I've heard people say, yeah, but that's not safe for you. But I'm like, I feel safe because it's in my home. It's in your home. Oh. But I don't invite them like right off the bat. It's not like our first yeah. encounter. I say public is always better. And then if I say, hey, do you want to come back to my place? Mm -hmm. That they still send my address to somebody that they know. But, uh, but honestly, I guess this is up to them. Like, I, I really put it there. Like, if yeah. you, like I'd never like come no just like if you want 
but you know whenever my friends would ask me whenever my friends would ask me if should i go to his place mm -hmm. like the first time i'm like no i would say no yeah. don't do it girl because you, know, you don't know the person yet if it's like i don't know the sixth date okay just okay just go for it yeah but yeah i'm I'm being hypocritical because I went to Israel. <laughs> <at every time. laughs> no, but I mean, you, you understand where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not yeah, like I'm it. just I like, it, yeah, it. yeah, yeah, just in case. Yeah, yeah, I thought you gave me this look like, Rah. no, 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 a plus. Plus, um, if they come back to my place, I know the guard really well. Yeah, <laughs> so they're, 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 yeah. yeah it's a very small place, so it's like, yeah. like, they're like, mm -hmm. they'll know that somebody comes up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So safety, very important. I think it's like one of the number one things when it comes to yeah, online dating. Number one, yeah. Before you know it, you get a guy with a scooter wearing a dress and a tank top, <laughs> not looking like the person on his profile. Without an ab. Yeah. Without, Sorry. without an ab. Without abs. <laughs> so, buddy, I just got the note that we got eight o'clock, oh. meaning that we did the live stream for an hour. Oh, that was an hour? Do you want to keep going? We could, actually. Yeah. We can still, like, I think message. 30 minutes is okay. 30 minutes. 30 minutes or 25 now. Is that okay with you guys? Are you guys enjoying? This is the people in the audience who are Oh, do you guys yeah. enjoy the conversation? Am I boring yeah. you guys? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, don't th I don't think you're boring at all. I really? We could do this all day. We'll turn off the cameras and everything. Yeah, so I, we can, I can you. really I prove you. I really that. enjoy talking to you. <laughs> 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 hey, someone said, Kev, said proud of you, Gab. I'm proud of you too, bud. Oh, you got? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And then let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, horror stories. That I've heard. Uh, that you've heard or tell us about something that you might have heard or anything that could have happened. Any worst case scenarios. Oh, I actually have a Bali horror story. Really? Yeah, but I'm not going to go into that. It's okay. too, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. I mean, like, of course, it's a very, very tough question. Yeah. Uh, because uh, you know you can always expect the worst. Yeah. Um, oh, this is actually really cute. I think this is my time to shine in a second. Go go yeah. go! <laughs> How can you navigate the transition from online chatting to real life to real life mm. dating? Okay. So six weeks ago. Okay. This go. wonderful woman. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, sent me a message, and I'm very like, because I feel like I'm full of energy. You know, and yeah, then putting, yeah, yeah. making up a profile does not really justify who I am. Yeah. And I feel maybe you feel the same way about yeah. your profile too, right? Of course. So I enjoy calling. I don't like texting. Mm -hmm. You know, and I like voice. Voice is nice because then you have like a, you know, a connection to mm -hmm. like the face that you see in the profile. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm okay with meeting people fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. um, because again, I usually, well, most of the time I go to a public place. Yeah. So I feel really safe, like, you know, to somebody and then I can see if we click or not instead of spending yeah. so much time yeah. texting which I do not like so much yeah and um, but based on that um, so this girl my girlfriend now okay, so it's we, so new I'm so, it. yeah, I'm so we happy. get it I'm so happy <laughs> no, but like, no, but like, okay uh, your girlfriend yeah, yeah. okay she we made, get it okay so she totally. made plans in 10 days she to, sorry so what? she made the First time we would see each other would be in 10 days from the initial, like, oh. you know what I mean? So she's like, hey, listen, I'm free this day, which is 10 days from now. For yeah. me, you know, that's yeah. the worst because like, I'm like, oh, my mm -hmm. texting game is off. Yeah. I'm not good at this. So yeah. like, that really stressed me out. Mm -hmm. But I think, again, so like, I was like, oh, no, like, I feel like, I hope that she still likes me by then mm -hmm. because I feel like she's really great and all these yeah. things, blah, blah, blah. And then the transition was, uh, I mean, that transition was the longest I've ever had to wait to see somebody. Mm -hmm. It really built up the expectation and I'm happy, of course, that it happened. But I think that um, usually it's easy for me to kind of transition into like an actual date. Yeah. I mean, for you clearly too. I mean, you were in Bali. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, let's say like, um, what are what are the points that you're like you know i want to see this person let's say if you were to meet them here and not on holiday um like if they want to see me like oh you're honestly. also like okay with just meeting people like you're not what do you mean you don't need the like a longer conversation or like yeah, a few days of honestly, grazing I, period I, honestly i'm a bad texter as well all right 
you yeah. know, it's like it's a way for me. It's a waste of time yeah. to like you know, and I really hate texting unless it's like work related. I like mm -hmm. I'm forced to. But when it's like conversation, you can't really see the po the person's emotions. Yeah. You know, I I would rather have it face to face communication because you know you you get to think of like random topics when you're face to face. Right. When it's messaging, you're like, hey, when am I supposed to reply to this? Yeah, and then it messes with you a little bit. Yeah. And you're like, like, oh, I gotta spend time on this. And when the person replies slow, you're like, eh, they're probably not interested. Let me go. And finally, you get to like, you tend to overthink everything, and then yeah. you just not reply as well. So that's, I think that's how ghosting starts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's what, that's, what, that's what I worried about. You know, the longer yeah. the grazing period. Like, I'm okay with being ghosted after the first date where I ghost mm -hmm. them. I think that's an acceptable ghosting. Yeah. I don't. I hardly do it. I always just kind of let them know that, like, hey, listen, um, yeah. I don't vibe. Yeah. Um, I've had a story once actually of a girl who got super pissed at me. I texted Why? her saying, "Hey, listen, uh, person." <laughs> um, person. Yeah, I'm not gonna say her name clearly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like, um, you know, you're great, but I don't think we vibe the way that I want to. Mm -hmm. And then she went on this rant, and we saw each other twice, and just a long rant. It was incredible. I was like, oh, okay, gosh, like, uh -oh. you know, like, for some reason, you know, like, uh, I hate to say this, but it was kind of amusing to me because I mm -hmm. didn't, like, I'm like, you know, I, I thought I was pretty, you know, like, oh hey, no. listen, I don't want to see you anymore. I don't like the way that we do. Yeah. I mean, you're great. You're probably going to find somebody else. But, you know, we've been out twice. So I think we yeah. need to stop talking here. You were actually respectful. I, yeah. Then yeah. I try to be because, like, you know. Yeah, you, you felt like you yeah. hurt the girl's feelings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, 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 and of course, it gets it sucks to receive that message. But I rather uh -huh. receive that message than get ghosted and then kind of like be with this anxiety of like, what went wrong? Why didn't you like? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get. It. But yeah, so she sent me that long ass message, just yeah. like ranting, and then I had to reply, still in a polite way. Mm -hmm. But I felt like like already our mindsets were so different that it wouldn't have gone anywhere mm -hmm. regardless. And I'm happy. Yeah. That it happened then and another time. Imagine we saw each other yeah. for a little longer and I'd be like, Yeah, oh. I mean, you know, if it's not destiny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least you got to meet your amazing girlfriend. I did. Yes. Did I talk about her yet? No, oh, no, I'm actually kidding. I don't know if she's oh, no, really yeah. amazing. I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but you just have to believe me. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go like through two more questions I think would be okay. really uh, foreign women dating Filipinos. Foreign women. Foreign women dating Filipinos. Oh, there's a lot, actually. Yeah? There's I a think lot, especially in beaches. When you go to Shergao, like, you would see foreign women dating locals. Really? Yeah. But, okay, but there's a difference between dating and actually long-term relationships. Sorry? Long-term relationships or dating. Oh, I think they're long-term relationships. Because really? yeah. they eventually marry. Yeah. And actually, my parents are kind of like that. Oh. My father is more Fili is Filipino, whereas my ma is well, half. Yeah. But then she looks really yeah, cause hair skin you know, and white. I think cause, uh, um, let's say for example, so we're, we're, let's say for example, we're Filipinos, right? And then we're used to dating Filipino people as well. So I don't mean you just want to try something else. Mm -hmm. And then you end up falling for a foreign person because it's like it's different and the culture is different. You got to you get to learn from them. And sometimes they're more, you know, um, matured yeah. than us, than Asians. <laughs> what an I'm not like saying a I'm huge immature, generalization. <laughs> like so us Asians, they're so I'm much so more. I'm so sorry, you're, you're not immature. You're very immature, uh, honestly. Uh, her words, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. You did really well until now. Now I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, guys. No offense. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god, they must hate me by now. No, <laughs> they're like, no, 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 they're no. like, this is an Asian girl speaking. I don't think so. Asian. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think so at all. I keep on, my microphone keeps on dropping a little bit. And I keep on really getting worried about it. I hope it's not a problem so far. It's okay. Good. Okay, okay. let's do one more. So yeah, let's say our thoughts. Question. I think it's pretty good. That, sorry, just really quickly. Like, um, I see it more abroad because I grew up abroad. Yeah. Okay, so I have this really crappy analogy story about this so when i used to live in the netherlands i used to go to asian parties oh so predominantly for asian people so how's asian parties in the Nether uh, netherlands kind of like a party here oh okay yeah <laughs> but just asian and okay. like every now and then a white person or like <laughs> a yeah <laughs> so exactly yeah. like no no <laughs> so right. uh, i had this really crappy joke about like um yeah if you see uh um a foreign person let's say a white person mm -hmm. a white man sorry 
dating a Filipino or an Asian woman, you kind of think like, oh. The Asian woman isn't. Yeah, I'm like, for the money. you're kind of creepy, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like a direct thought. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, because so that, that's, really, that's from a really your that's, pers- yeah, perspective. That, well, I mean, like it's not my, own, but it, it, it's it's a general thing when you're abroad. You kind of like have that oh, perspective. Okay. Not that it's an older person, but just like, so I do with an Asian. You you feel like more like no, those are our people. <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, what yeah. are you doing, yeah. you colonizer? Yeah. I'm kidding. But like. <laughs> oh my God! Wait yeah. up, um, commercial. So yeah. I went on a date with this Spanish guy. Yes. And I called Probably him, the best kind of people. I called him a colonizer. And he was like, oh, about that. I'm so sorry that my ancestors <laughs> did this. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's not that yeah. deep. Honestly, well, I, said, I, I said that as a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like apologizing. He was like really serious about it. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm like, what did I do? So because I'm half Spanish, they also say that to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Colonizer. and then I say like, and we're not stopping now. And I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm half, so it's like you know, like what can I really say about that? Yeah. Anyway, so like white man with an Asian woman, you're like, uh, they're yeah, kind of yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah. But the moment that we see an Asian man with a white girl, mm-hmm. we're like, you made it. <laughs> exactly. Right. <Because, yeah>, right? <laughs> like, exactly. You got out. Yes. No more pressure from your parents. <laughs> <laughs> you fought them. You're dating a white man, yeah, a white woman. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know. I don't have that perspective anymore. But it was like a running joke that we had when I had it with some friends of mine about that. Like it was just, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we're like, that's actually true. Yeah, I I still feel the same way. Yeah. yeah, yeah Until yeah. now? No, not yeah. anymore. I can't say that anymore. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but oh I I, I I strongly believe in like um, mixing as much as you can. Yeah. Because I think. Uh, Babies Diversity. are super cute. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the kids are super cute. Have you seen like mixed mixed race kids? Like, hey, that's cuter. discrimination. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, but this is yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, last one. Yeah, last one. Last one. Yeah. What do we get here? We have no more. No more? Okay. Oh, you just pick randomly. I think there's a lot of questions. Uh, I can't problem? read. I'm sorry. You can't read? No, I can't read because I have. I need my glasses. Yeah, I can't read even with glasses. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's see what I got here. Um, how, does man. <laughs> <laughs> how does online dating, uh, this is actually a pretty good one. I think it's a nice one to end okay. off with. Uh, how does online dating change perspectives on what's important in a partner? I don't feel any pressure right now. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not. I think it's easier. Yeah, I get what you mean can a I, little can bit. Can I read? Yes, it's this last one right here. Can I magnify it if I can? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. And I got to scroll a little lower. Okay. This one of off the record. How does online dating change perspectives on what's important in a partner? Hmm. Trick question. Trick question, actually. I, I, yeah. I need time to. Yeah. Okay, then I'll go first. Okay, go first. I don't think it does change much. Yeah, it does. I think it it's just really. it, it really comes down to the just the first encounter is different than meeting somebody in yeah. a traditional or offline way, right? Yeah. Because what we were discussing earlier, like for me, uh, I put up my guard really high yeah. whenever I date here, so I can be very fickle-minded on whether I want to see somebody or not. Yeah. And um, I think that if you kind of have like an intention in your head of like what you want to achieve from dating. Mm-hmm. It, I don't think it matters that much on online. The only thing with online is that uh, it's easier to state what you want. Yeah, you, you can know? be you know, upfront. You can say, I'm here date to marry. And yeah. by the way, date to marry for me is a red flag whenever that says on a profile. Really? Because I feel that people who date to marry uh, will overlook other red flags because their goal is to get married. Whereas if you're just dating to date and see, get to know the person without oh, any okay. intention, Okay, yeah, I was like, okay, at first I was like, why is it a red flag? No, but like, I mean, like, it, it's kind of like, at the first instance, red flag, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you really put the, I'm like, because I, I'm very clear when I was online dating, I was like, mm-hmm. listen, I am open to all, close to none, in mm-hmm. the sense that I just want to connect and let's see how we connect. Yeah. You know, that you can have a very short lived relationship or a very long lived relationship, mm-hmm. but like, the most important thing is to connect with somebody. And yeah. I think that's what really yeah, is important, that's important to me. Important, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so how does online dating change perspective on what's important in a partner? It really doesn't, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, it really doesn't change anything. I think a profile, literally, if I were to meet you, 
and see your profile. I could just find out everything on your profile from you, you in, know, like, actually, in a very short time. The profiles, because you can easily manipulate someone mm -hmm. with a profile. Like you can pretend to be someone else yeah. with your profile, with your bio. Like, let's say, for example, my Bumble, my Bumble bio is I like mustache and mullets. <laughs> but I don't really, you I know. I feel personally attacked. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but it, I, I said From that. From the person a, who said this looked like I a first date. <laughs> I said that as a joke, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't really think that it was important. Because, uh, like, if the guy is, like, really interested in, like, you know, getting to know me, mm -hmm. make an effort. Like, let's compromise. Let's make an effort to each other. To yeah. each other. So I think, yeah. Same with one, Like, when you, like, before the dating apps, it's, it's still the same. Like, but it's easier with the dating apps because now you have the courage, you know, the confidence to like talk to this person you've always wanted to talk to or like you see, unli mm -hmm. unlike before, nah, you see this person, let's say for example, at McDonald's and like Love you're hesitating yeah. if you should like... Have you ever talked to somebody at McDonald's? No. Yeah, no. Okay, that one. I was like, what for an me, intense I example. Mean, <laughs> these days it will be creepy for me. Right? I feel like online dating kind of put like a little creepiness to like real life yeah approaching. yeah yeah because it, right? w when you're in a, when a when you're in a dating app you're there to date yeah but if it's in person like you're not sure if that person wants to date you're yeah, not, you you're not wanna, even you sure wanna, if that person wanna, like, is single or yeah. whatever yeah it's it makes it makes things easier yeah honestly so you think it makes things easier prefer online you you would like you know like for example i have this like not really easy easy but you know but like you know when people have these fantastic meet cute stories no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you kind of miss out on from across the bar, right? You know, I've had a like few. That. I've had a few of those, of course. Yeah. And then now I, it's an online story, and yeah. it's kind of like a little like, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Well, are you okay with compromising that? I'm okay with that. You know. Yeah. I don't really think it matters. You know. I mean, it's a story mm -hmm. that you like orchestrate together when you tell other people. Yeah, <laughs> but they're gonna ask us. Okay, how'd you guys meet? Oh, we met through bu we we met through Bumble, but that's not the story that we're gonna focus on. We're gonna s we're gonna tell them the story of how we really clicked. Yeah, you have an amazing story, by the way. You met in Bali. You were about to delete Bumble. <laughs> and then he along went to the came, along came. Yeah, that's a, that's a good story. Like, yeah. okay, we met on Bumble, but after that, the story is amazing. He took your hand and he said, "Rob, you're dead." To the Maldives. No, uh, no. <laughs> but he went to the Philippines. You. So that's yeah. like a cute story to tell yeah, your future children, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even if you don't end up being together, like you tell your grandchildren, oh, yeah. I met this guy in Bali and then he went to the Philippines for your grandmother because your grandmother was something before. <laughs> and grandma, what's Bumble? Oh, so Bumble is like this <laughs> thing that it's, it used to be like pen pal. You know what pen pal is? Is it an app or just actual pen pals? Pen pals is like what our grandparents used before. Oh, like writing to writing strangers. Writing to so strangers. I thought you were talking about some kind of app called Pen Pal. I was no, like, no, oh. no, no. It's like yeah. the old, you know, the, the traditional yeah. thing. So it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. But with Pen Pal, because you, you couldn't really, you know, see the person face to face. Like you just develop feelings with each other through writing. Yeah. And it's like, it's a risk. It's like a gamble, you know, like you take, you would, make this risk to like meet up with a person not knowing what they look like they're just gonna send you pictures but you know before you cannot you cannot edit pictures so it's <laughs> it's, it's you know well, you can maybe okay. draw an eye patch an eye pa <laughs> but you, you know for sure now it's not catfishing yeah, exactly so it's like oh this yeah. is what he looks like he's kind of cute you know <laughs> <laughs> get that so actually talking about that like um the perspective of love so uh because my current partner she doesn't like that we don't have a meet cute and I didn't either. I yeah. orchestrated what I thought was the best Valentine's Day <gasps> dinner ever. Oh yeah, tell me about okay, it. Okay, so this is the last story and then we're it. over. So this <laughs> is what I did. My grandmother has a rooftop. A rooftop? Uh, a rooftop, yeah, wow. so she has a rooftop. Bougie. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I made it bougie. Anyways, so I took a table, I put it there and yeah. then I set out the table. A plate, fork, uh, spoon, knife, yeah. fork, wine glass, water glass, Wine bottle empty, one rose inside, a candle, a side table, water bottle, a, bo a wine in a decanter. Wait, um, my, brain is, my brain is not braining. I'm trying to imagine everything, yeah. but there's like lots of bottles. So where does this <laughs> bottle go? So just imagine, <laughs> just like a really nice table. <laughs> a nice table. On okay. a rooftop. Got it. Al fresco, as they say here. 
Alfresco yeah. romance. Only that term I hear here. I've never heard it anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, alfresco. Yeah. And then uh, I cooked her favorite burgers. Oh. <laughs> I ordered the buns from her favorite place. I yeah, bought the meat. That's cute. And then I also made pizza, which I made from scratch. So the dough and the sauce, mm. everything. So I imagine you did like the. Yes, I did. I did. I did. <laughs> Nobody saw. I was in a, in a one white tank top, like, ah, vamos. And then, you know, like, yeah. And then I continued. Uh, I chopped up the fries, everything. From <laughs> yeah. I tried to make everything as much as I could from scratch, yeah. right? And then when she came, I, I wrote her a book as a present. You wrote yeah. her. Yeah, twenty-five How many page pages. 20 twenty. Oh my god. Twenty-five page book. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Twenty-five page book. Uh, four different story. Five different stories. The mm. first, and I wrote this like, the book is called Five Days to Valentine's because I came up with the idea of Five Days to Valentine's. Okay. But the printing shop needed it two days before, <laughs> so I did it in three days. Okay. And it stressed me out because I was in Singapore then visiting my parents on yeah, yeah, just yeah. Like, So I wrote four stories. <laughs> Uh, yeah, on an iPad on notes because my Microsoft didn't connect. It was the worst. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of editing. Anyway, so uh, um, four stories about four possible meet cutes we could have had in a different lifetime. So one is oh, how we met. Oh, that's cute. A, yeah, 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 yeah. I would have cried. I know. <laughs> All right, that's what I was going for. Anyways, <laughs> and then the and the yeah, last okay. story, the fifth story, goes like, hey, listen, um, if you're reading this, you're probably done. The next part, you can either read for yourself or you can wait for me to finish cooking and I'll read it to you. And uh, oh. that story, yeah, that story was about um, how I felt about her. Oh my God, I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> I, hate, yeah. I hate me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what I was going for. I hope you guys are crying too. No, but like, <laughs> that's what I was going for because like, again, like uh, that's the moment I realized I'm not gonna put my guard up anymore. Yeah. I'm just gonna go in, I will risk the heartbreak again. So then we ate, we danced on the rooftop yeah, that's yeah. cute. It was fantastic. We kissed for the first time. It was oh. great. Yeah. Oh, on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Every girl's dream. I know. So you know. I went. I, I didn't even receive flowers <laughs> for on Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like you know. Yeah. So that was my Valentine's Day. That's why I overlook that meet cute part that we met online. At least yeah. I tried yeah. to compensate with this. Yeah, compensate with something else. You yeah. know. Like Absolutely. meeting online, that's nothing. <laughs> meeting for the first time is something. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. know? Because when you meet online, you don't, you don't like really meet, meet. But when you meet for the first time, that's when the story starts. The love story starts. Uh, at least for me. Yeah, but I think so too. Yeah, you, you think know? so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, like I don't remember the first conversation we had on Bumble. Yeah. Even though I think because I Because me and this, this guy who went to the Philippines, uh, we didn't have a conversation on Bumble. Like it was just straight yeah, he, up. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, that's right, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Or not. I don't I, know, I I know how do you feel that. about that. Like, yeah. I, I actually prefer yeah, that. Because okay like, it, okay, I, I have to meet this person in person. You know, I need to know his emotions, how he is in real life. And he's really nice. He's really respectful. Mm -hmm. Really polite as well. That's good. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most important thing. And we have the same wavelength, you know? Yeah. Whenever I'm with him, I feel like I'm a child. In, not not like a child child. But That's what I was talking about. White people in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not that. Um, yeah. I feel like I can be. Yeah, you're giddy myself, and you're just yourself, you know? and you're really like. Ugh. And you know, I don't feel butterflies whenever I'm about to meet him. Because mm -hmm. for me, when you feel butterflies, you feel anxious, you yeah. feel nervous. I don't feel that. It feels like really easy. It feels smooth. Like I can just be myself when I'm around him, and I think that's really important. Yeah. You Absolutely. just, you know, you be yourself. You don't and have to pretend to be someone you're not. Yeah. No, I understand that. That's so, yeah, you, know, you know, that's everything that, you know, I try to be as honest. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. There's I mean, no point. That it's like you're wasting your time. With, yeah. Yeah. Kev says he actually, like, is the one I can read because a lot of them are in Tagalog. Sorry. <laughs> Online dating Again. is just a tool used to hasten the process. Hasten? Hasten the, has the, pro the process <sighs> of connecting with other yeah. people and finding potential partners. Unfortunately, people can nitpick the traits they display. That's yeah, true. that's what yeah, we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, people can easily manipulate you online and they can like, you know, yeah. fake everything. Okay, off the record, last, last question, guys. We're really done with this one. Modern dating tips. How do you find a love online in the Philippines? I think what? you just got to get lucky a little bit, no? Yeah, it's, uh, I yeah, think it's, it's like, luck. Yeah, I luck. think it's, again, And like, you don't really find it. You just it let just it come to you. It comes along the way. Yeah, yeah, it comes along the way. I mean, finding love, you don't, when you're finding, don't, don't find for love, don't look for love. 
just let the magic happen, you know, don't force anything. Because if you force love, it's going to turn out bad. Would you say this is a perspective of a woman? Because I realize that it's a double-end question. Like, okay. perspective as a man, perspective as okay, a woman. Okay, you answer the man. Well, you just answer the woman. You can continue. Or oh. this was a general thing? It was a general thing okay. for me, yeah. Then I'll go really quickly. Um, I think, I, I mean, I agree with you. Like, yeah, you know, if I can be right? romantic, I'll try my best, of course. Yeah. But like, the most important thing is just kind of like, you know, let, let it happen. It, yeah, that's let the, the most exciting happen, part. Yeah. And I think that's still like a, like a fun part about online dating is that, of course, you can make it a little easier, but at the end of the day, yeah. you never fall in love with the profile. Yeah, never fall in love with the profile. Fall yeah. in love with the person exactly. behind the profile. Yeah. yeah, it's always that. So I think, you know, I, but the most important thing, and I think that we really brushed through this a little too quick, is mm. the communication. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing because you're communicating through text. You're communicating with somebody that could lie to you or, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if you set your own standards mm -hmm. and you communicate how y what you want, then you can never go wrong yourself. Yeah. Right? Whether they like what you communicate or not. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing you're not rude when you communicate like that, but like, yeah, you yeah. just let them know this is what I want, this is what I want to be with. Yeah, because at least you know what you want. You're not yeah. like, you know, blind, you know, you, you're not like, you know, just trying to pick up pieces mm -hmm. because you know this person wants this yeah so if this person wants this and you don't want this with that person you know you just have to communicate you know and tell the person okay if you want that that's not what i want mm -hmm. stuff like that because yeah. yeah communication is important even with especially with relationships with friends and everything yeah no absolutely yeah, yeah. i mean you set your own boundaries yeah set your uh, own also boundaries. your own standards yeah. of course i mean like you I think compromise is inevitable, but like, mm -hmm. to what extent? Yeah, to what and extent? You can compromise, right? Mm -hmm. So again, uh, I think, yeah, how do you find love online in the Philippines? I think like any other way. Yeah, don't find don't love. It says here, don't chase, just attract. Yeah, but just then attract. But then you said, yeah, I agree, yeah. right? <laughs> totally agree. So I think that's it. I think that's it. We, we did so wow, well. congratulations Great. to us. We yes, I think I it. could do this again. <laughs> All the nerves disappeared after the first malfunction. <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't have done worse than. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, this was going to be yeah. easy. This yeah, like, yeah. And it was. I, I love this. It, it, it was. was a lot of fun. I wish we had beer, though. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think uh, next time. <laughs> next time. Yeah, if you guys want to see her again, oh. you guys have to say yes, more oh, wrong, I please. It. I doubt I don't think so. See I would love to see you again. We're having so much fun <laughs> talking to you. Right? This was really great. Yeah. I'm sorry if we couldn't answer all the questions. What you guys could do, though, is comment them into the live stream, and then we'll get back to them and answer all the questions we weren't able to answer. Mm -hmm. um, also, we had a whole list of topics, and I feel like we did pretty okay-ish, even though yeah. we didn't, I didn't really pay much attention to it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and Let it flow. Guys, if you guys... <laughs> here, it says here. Uh, Danny says, more, please. <laughs> beer, yeah. Yeah, and then beer, yeah. I mean, that would have been great. I don't drink beer. I would have a glass of wine with you, but that would have been nice as well, right? Yeah, that would have been nice. Right? And especially because it's a little late, so it's like you, you can start drinking at 7 p.m. Uh, well, well, I do drink, so. I mean, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? Yeah, yeah. It's fun. I, I, like I think it's like an age thing, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm, old. I'm, I'm, I'm turning 31 this Saturday, actually, so I don't think Oh, it's happy birthday! Yeah, thank you. Pisces. Yeah, I wow. did my best to be a Pisces. Yeah, <laughs> 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 but like uh, yeah, I used to day drink as well because and you can day drink it at, at 8 p.m. your home. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's perfect because you can just chill. You can like exactly. don't get a hangover. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, but again, guys, thanks for watching. Really, Rob, you were fantastic. It was a nice conversation, right? Thank you. Yeah, did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I'm happy to hear. I'm gonna let's see. I'm on my own account, so I'm just gonna give us a little. I'll just keep there you go that's me like celebrating oh you're celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys if you guys want to know more about um rob Me i don't know say. no wait so i don't oh. know how to how to link the your socials on our oh. page is it there oh, oh they're there right what i'm going to add soon is like our little um coffee page if you guys want to donate and help us out to grow our channel that'd be fantastic uh, we're going to be here, I think, every week now on At The Back Door, different guests. And if you guys want Rob back, she has a fantastic perspective on women's equal rights and all these things because you are an activist. Yeah, uh, I'm not an activist. No, sorry. I'm, I'm advocating Advocate, sorry. Yeah. for women's rights and children's rights yeah. and for the protection of women and children. And I think that would be a fantastic conversation to have with you again, right? Mm -hmm. And if yeah. you guys want that, 
Well, we decide. No. <laughs> if yeah, I have her on, decide. I would love to have you on again, honestly. And yeah, I'm sure, actually really interested to hear about that. Give Rob a follow. Give at the back door a follow. Check out our other content. Yeah, I don't want to force things, guys. If you don't want to follow me, that's fine. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Message all her followers to not follow her anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, if you guys uh, stick around, check out our channel, subscribe, help us grow yeah. because we want to keep on talking to interesting people like Rob about <gasps> anything and everything. Yeah, we absolutely. Have to do that. I know. I'm, I'm kidding. Often they call the bolero. <laughs> the bolero. Yeah. <laughs> My grandmother is the only person who calls me that actually. But anyways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry we couldn't answer all the questions, but just, just comment them down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them together with the team. And then until then, we'll see you guys at the next uh, episode. Ciao.